a uh, sergeant hound hypothetically if we were to attack the clone army and take over the republic by ourselves would you be in sir that would be the dumbest thing you could possibly do no 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 you don't get it hypothetically we could control the government Stop saying hypothetically, it's clear you want to do this. No, sir, it wouldn't work. Our one legion couldn't take on every other clone army legion. Even if it was just to take place in this very war-ravaged city that we're stationed in, with us versus one other clone legion, the odds of us winning are 50-50. I like those odds. No, you don't, sir. Here, I have a simulation that will run a fake battle for us to see if we might win or not. We will be the green plastic army men, and the enemy will be the tan plastic army men. Do you want me to run it and show you why this is such a bad idea, and even if we win, there will be hundreds of deaths? I suppose. Yes, run this simulation. Let us see my victory. God, you're so dumb. Fine, I'll run it. What's up gamers? It's me, Daily Tactics here, back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, and today we are playing with the Plastic Army Men clone troopers. I did like a couple of episodes with these guys probably like a half a year ago or something like that, uh, and then I kind of petered off doing them because, uh, I don't know, I just, I guess there wasn't uh, a ton of excitement from myself for it. It seems like fans were into it, but I don't know. I felt like I hadn't created the proper lore for it, you know? Um, but now I, I'm feeling good. So basically what we have here is like a like a simulation, a what-if simulation uh, on a micro table. So this entire map is just a table, theoretically. Um, and uh, like a like a model and what we have are plastic little clone trooper army men uh, who are basically AI and are going to be fighting each other to see how this battle would end up resolving itself if uh, the green side over here uh, would go ahead and attack the tan side over here so uh, both sides do have defensive positions set up down in the middle uh, they have exactly the same number of troopers uh, but then they also have assault positions that are going to be moving into these trenches and fighting it out so uh, it's gonna be a pretty simple battle for the first uh, video in this series if we want to make it a series I'd be interested if you guys would be interested uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, either way let's get into it and see how the plastic green clone trooper army men toy soldiers do against the tan ones will they come out victorious or will they suffer a defeat to the tan army men either way guys uh, without further ado let's get into it be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already comment down below and uh, like the video let's get it popping What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then, gamers, pressing start right now, and oh my goodness, everything is starting almost immediately. That makes sense, because we have the defensive positions basically right next to each other. I mean, these guys are literally less than a block away from each other, so they start firing almost immediately. Both sides taking some pretty heavy losses right off the bat. I think this is going to be one of those games where we don't really get to see who the winner ends up being until later on in the battle. It's going to be like the last four or five minutes where we really feel figure out who's got the grit, who's got the might to make this thing happen and to get the d -d 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 dub ski. Either way, the defending troopers are just blasting the heck out of each other. We got losses coming in from both sides of the battlefield right now uh, due to these defensive positions being so far ahead in the map. And the... Uh, moving assault positions are beginning to come forward they're sort of hu hugging the sides of the walls there's a random stormtrooper here ignore that ignore that it's an action figure it's not it's not real you didn't see anything 
Uh, and, uh, yeah, they're hugging the walls, you know, utilizing them as cover while also getting some good fire out, too. You know, if I were them, I'd try and get as far forward as I possibly can while your defensive positions are still alive and reinforce these positions because, after all, if you don't hold these positions, it's going to be really hard to get a foothold on the battlefield. So you're going to want to, like, you know, get as far forward onto these positions as possible and hold on to them. You know, take the defensive route. It may seem lazy, it may seem lame to take the defensive route, but god dang it, dude, uh, it's probably worth it. It is definitely going to be worth your time to do the defensive route. Either way, in the three sort of uh, streets here, I guess, we got one, two, three uh, over here. It seems like these two have the most action, and then this one over here has no action. I mean, there's defensive positions for both sides, but uh, no one's really attacking with their forces on, on this position. So this could be a last stand position over here. Both sides could be trying to save it for the end, maybe? Or maybe they're just like, ah, there's no point in fighting if the other two sides are gonna take the brunt of this battle for us. So, like, might as well just hang out, dude! Why, why, why engage? You know? <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to tell who's winning over here. Both sides have taken some pretty significant losses. I think maybe the greens have taken a few more losses, and maybe that's because uh, most of the tan soldiers from this alleyway, I think, came over here. Yeah, they're crossing through this little, little position and going over here. And so, therefore, they outweigh the greens over here. But the greens, meanwhile, have like a stockpile of troopers over here that could potentially assault later on. So I think that's why this position here might be losing for the greens oh actually these guys aren't dead they're just hiding behind cover oh okay so maybe they're not even losing maybe they're just not doing anything they're just chilling okay i guess it's pretty even over here then in terms of losses at the very least over here in the sort of ruins of this map the greens are taking a far more defensive position i mean all of these guys are just chilling on cover not even really firing, and that might just be because the, the tans are too far away right now? Maybe? I mean, they've gotten a few kills. The tans have also gotten a few green kills. It seems to be mainly just sort of a skirmish between the two. I don't see that many greens firing, uh, but I do see a lot of tans firing. So I wonder if they somehow have the uh, suppressive advantage going on right now. Something like that. That could be it. Um, Alright, back to the middle over here. Looks like the tans are on the assault. They're going on the offensive, baby. They are actually moving forward, and I think they're going to be trying to reclaim this territory up here. They have a couple of soldiers left alive over here, but not many, so I think they're trying to reinforce up in the front of the battlefield to try and you know, get a leg up on the greens, who are right now uh, just sort of holding that position and preventing any tans from really getting to it and wiping out anyone over there. Lots of tans just sort of in front of cover over here, and they're getting clapped because of it. I mean, they're getting shot up by these lasers. It's not a good strategy, tans. You know, get behind the cover. That's the purpose of cover. By definition, you go behind it, sirs. But they don't seem to care. <laughs> they don't seem to care at all, and they're losing a good number of troopers because of it. Also, the greens are losing some troopers on these side areas. I mean... Hugging the walls is a good strategy if you're trying to push forward in an offensive stance where you have no cover. But if you're just going to hang out on the sides of walls, it, it's pretty stupid. The The attackers are eventually going to find an angle in which they can fire at you, and uh, that's exactly what happens here. I mean, the Tans sort of adapted by seeing that these guys were going to hug the wall, and so they sort of went to the other side of the map and uh, started spraying them down. These guys, what they needed to do, and what they still need to do, is get up here and uh, take this position. Like this fella. I mean, this guy's clearly uh, a free roamer. He wasn't on the defensive, but uh, he's, you know, taking up positions over here. That's what these guys need to go ahead and do. All right, is anything going on over here? Oh, we do have stuff going on over here. The defensive positions on the far right are finally engaging. We've got a couple of green deaths over here. Um... Not really any tan deaths, actually. The tans seem to be doing a pretty good job. Lots of these guys are free roamers over here. Meanwhile, the greens do have free roamers, but they're not getting involved. These are all static positions, and the free roamers just need to come over here and lend some weight to the defensive, uh, so that way they can participate in the battle and maybe wipe out those tans over there, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Over here on the far left, the greens still have a really good defensive setup, and it seems like more tans are actually dying 
as they sort of assault forward. So I think the greens are winning this battle over here pretty well, uh, while they sort of uh, are in a bit of a stalemate in the middle, and then the greens are definitely losing over here, especially at this point. Look at this. Their defensive positions are going down, baby. All right, let's go into normal speed here. That's enough slow-mo for the day, I think. At least for now. Maybe we'll, we'll do a little more slow-mo. I like the slow-mo. It lets you see more of the battlefield, you know? That's a personal preference of mine. Not many people might agree with that, but heck, man, I agree with it. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. It's like I'm taking a stance for no reason. There's, there, there's no... <laughs> There's no problem with enjoying or not enjoying slow-mo. <laughs> Alright, these guys over here, I think these are the model green soldiers. I mean, look at them. Standing true, big chillin', behind cover, making it happen, just gunning down any tan that gets into their uh, line of sight here. These greens are playing the game, and they are playing the game very well. Tans are still sort of trying to push forward over here. I have to say, I'm kind of rooting for the greens, um, but I have my reservations if they're actually going to win here. I, I think the tans have been playing the game a little bit better than the greens in totality. In certain parts of the battlefield, the greens are playing really, really well, but in other parts of the battlefield, they're playing really, really poorly, and I think the tans, you know, they're maneuvering a lot more. They are a much more mobile army than the greens are, so I think that's playing to their advantage. Um, I mean, look at this straight down the middle, dude. They are gunning forward. And they're going to be going on flanks and stuff like that pretty soon. I think the tans have it. Despite me liking the greens a little bit more in terms of, like, their color schemes and stuff like that. Um, I just don't think color scheme results in victory necessarily. That was a good grenade, though, by that green soldier. That was really good last sort of martyrdom grenade right there. All right, real quick, we're going slow-mo for just a second here as this battle sort of collapses from the inside. So the tans broke through in the middle, which is brilliant because now they can flank both the green soldiers over here as well as the green soldiers over here uh, through the back alleyways. That's really, really smart from the... Um, from the tans there and we can already see they're starting to wreak havoc because they're able to get so much more close to the green positions now um without taking any losses so i think the uh, the tans are playing this very well of course it is sort of a final assault here and they are getting gunned down pretty pretty badly um but you know they're throwing their full weight at the problem and i think that's resulting in them uh, managing to do well all right all quiet over here pretty quiet over here it looks like a lot of tans have tried rounding this corner over here to attack these massive amount of greens that are still alive um but many of them have died yeah anyone who tries to round that corner is gonna have some problems they need to be coming from this angle and it looks like they will be pretty soon they're just navigating their way over there um over here the tans are starting to get gunned down a little bit more on this side alleyway it was looking pretty bad for this green defensive position for a little bit but they held true uh they held firm and now they're managing to do it but that's a lethal grenade right there no one moved oh the clone manatee what was that? Oh, just a few tans managed to take out a ton of greens with just a bomber grenade right there. Oh, the greens are actually coming out of their hiding spot over here and starting an offensive against the tans. I think they realize they've sort of screwed the pooch in terms of the other places on the battlefield. So now they're trying to reclaim some territory over here. But considering at the beginning of the battle, they never did anything about these tan defensive troopers. Now they have to deal with them and they're still basically at full strength. So the greens are really feeling some hindsight right now. It's not good. Not good at all. There's still a bucket of tans over there. Uh, a few tans over here who are just sort of cleaning up the last remaining greens, or you could say the greens are cleaning up the last remaining attacking tans. Who knows what'll happen over here? Um, down the middle, of course, the greens are defeated. Well, that green came out of the buildings, apparently. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. The greens are losing more troopers on the attack over here. It's very confusing as to where they're going. I think some of them are creeping through here. There's actually... Oh, look at this. A couple of moving tans over this way and a couple of moving greens. The greens managing to gun down those few tans that uh, decide to attack first. Yep, there goes another guy right there. Okay. Not bad. This is actually turning into a very dynamic battle. The tans seem to have the upper hand right now, but the greens are playing a lot more chill. And it's resulting in them getting more kills. So, one could say... That the greens still have a chance here, although the tan infrastructure in the back is still very strong. Their defensive units are powerful. All right, we're going to squad up both sides. 
Uh, and it'll make it so both sides basically use a little bit more strategy with each other. And I think that's a good idea. All right, so both sides are squatted up now. The greens now looking at the minimap. If you look at the top left, blue are the tans, red are the greens. And the greens have so many fewer troopers than the tans at this point. So it's not looking super good. All right, a bit of a movement from one squad over here. They're pushing out, pushing back into this alleyway over here. They managed to catch a nice little tan off guard there. Not bad. Uh, meanwhile, these guys are still sort of just there <laughs> these tans still just sort of there um we got a little grenade warfare over here that one tan diving out of the way oh another tan tries to flank but gets gunned down see this alleyway is interesting actually now there's only one tan and two greens both sides just sort of wiped each other out over here which is interesting oh we got more fire over here uh looks like these guys peeked out they're trying to lead a little bit of an assault through this alleyway they're getting some gunshots in, but no, they're they're getting rolled, man. Oh, we've also got some coming out this way a little bit. Things ain't looking too good, dude. They needed to they need to work more on the defensive positions earlier on in the battle because right now they don't have the troopers to actually make anything happen now. So it's resulting in them getting gunned down pretty good, pretty good, dude. It's not looking good. It's it's looking bad actually. <laughs> No bueno. No bueno at all, dude. No bueno. I'm gonna take a sip of water. I actually have some some fizzy water today. I have a, I have a seltzer. So I'm being a hydro homie with a little bit of a kick. With a little kick. You know, a little hydro homie kick. Mm. Delicious. I love seltzer water. It's like it's like regular water, but with a with a little more pizzazz, you know? Adds a little, adds a, adds a little pizzazz to your water, to your hydration. It's nice, it's nice, I like it. We got one very, very gutsy tan pushing out right there. He, he, he dies, yeah. That's probably what should have happened right there. Um, we've also got some greens pushing through that alleyway again. These tans over here are just doing a killer job. Literally, they're killing. Let's see how many kills they've got. This guy's got two, this guy's got two, this guy's got none, this guy's got five. Uh, this guy's got one. Uh, this guy's got... Five, this guy's got none. This guy's got four. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. Those guys probably have none. All right, how about this guy? This guy's got none. What are these tans doing, dude? All right, we're going to push these tans out because they're clearly glitched. They're just glitched, so we're just going to move them out this way. I think they're just glitching into the wall by accident. So we're just going to move them out this way. And the greens have a defensive position over here. Most of them are facing this way, but now these flanking tans might be able to catch them off guard. It's what the tans should have done this whole time, you know. It's really a matter of the greens managing to get a few more kills in their last stand here because they do not have enough soldiers left alive. All right, they do notice those tans early on. They get a lot of shots off. They are getting some kills. The tans aren't responding yet, but now they start to. Uh, greens starting to fall as they get firing squad while stuck in this little corner over here. And the Tans managed to wipe out the majority of that squad right there pretty swiftly. We've got three greens right here. Let's just push them out. Last stand. Oh, they're getting shot from the flank and the front. Not a good sign. Let me Rambo. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they're dead. Um, and then it looks like actually these greens over here died at some point. So the Tans managed to take the victory... With relative ease, actually. So, yellow are dead greens, red are dead tans. Um, obviously, there's way more dead greens than dead tans. Way more. So, the greens did not hold out very well in the slightest during all of this. It's actually kind of crazy how badly they held out. So, very interesting. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to comment down below if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And smash that like button. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.